it. it. It's a fun exercise. You can do it at home. You know, you can do it in bed. You what? Well, well, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a lot of fun doing it. All right. First of all, you get 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 into rhythm of things. Okay. You get into rhythm of things. That's all you're doing. Okay. Now you you, you got to know if you've had one of my seminars, you know that this is my fighting stage. Okay. This is my fighting stage. If uh, that gentleman over there in a the tan short. What's your name, sir? Mike? Okay. If Mike stays there and Mike sees me doing this, no, no, no. And and then Mike sees me do this, all right, when Mike goes to court for this guy, because this guy is in the hospital and, and the police came and the police came and arrested me, Mike's gonna say, Well, Your Honor, I saw him saying don't hurt me, don't hurt me, and shaking his head, no, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Your Honor, that's what I saw. What's, this, what's Your Honor going to say? Your Honor's going to say, well, huh, acquit it. He's all right. He's defending himself. That's what you want. So you practice here. So you can start toughening up your pipe for That's this little bone right here. You start hitting there. Tighten it up. Okay? That's the hardest bone in your body. Alright, now. Very simple. We go one, two, three. Okay? We'll stop at three. Alright. You've seen me take Melvin several times into terrible positions. And this is one. Okay? This is a rotational turn of the hand. Okay? That's all it is. Now, if I was a cop, this guy would be going to jail. If he's not going to jail, he's going right here. What if I got on his elbow? Can anybody see that? A little bit louder. Pressure point. Pressure point. Okay, did that hurt? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, just to get it again, one, two, three, four, this side, notice where I am. Okay. Now I can take this and I can bring it to here, or I can take it from here and just bring it back to here. Either one it doesn't matter. But once I'm here, where am I going? I'm going right here. Okay. Right here. The axis. C one. Okay. If I'm here. I can take it here and I can come right over here. This way. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. <these. laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, one, two, three, and I'm going to use my right hand. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to use my left hand. I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can use hammer fists. You guys use your hands, right? Okay? If I have somebody coming at me, hammer fist and me, he's getting this. Okay? That's me. I don't recommend it for everybody. Now, when I brought my hand up here, my fingers went to his eyes. <clears throat> One of my instructors was Gary Dill. Gary Dill was a student of James Lee. James Lee was a student of Bruce Lee. How many of you heard of Bruce Lee? Yeah. You know what he did. James Lee did the same thing. Gary Dill... <coughs> Gary Dill was a little bit taller than this gentleman. Okay? A little bit more stunning. Now... But back then, Gary Dill was 290 back in the late 70s. He had a 357 Magnum on his, in his holster. He worked for the Oklahoma o the OFBI, Oklahoma Bureau of ATF or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but Gary's favorite thing was this. 
a back fist to the nose. Now you figure somebody that's 290, about 6'4", and his favorite technique is a back fist to the nose. It sort of demolishes. Okay? Whereas I'm just a little guy. Okay? I love this. Now, what if he closes his fist and he comes at me? This, okay, is something very simple. If any of you, okay, see this. You see a lot of what? What do you see? Punch. Punch. What do you see?
Okay. Now, where's the magic point here? Right where the thumb is. My thumb. Okay, because he knows it. When I do that, he knows that that thumb's going to dislocate. Okay, so when I get him in that pain, I can get him here. Once I get him here, the pain comes in here with the pressure point. Okay, we come in here. We say, let's go to jail. Okay. 